Okay, we're calling the um, today the June fifth transportation committee meeting to order. Um, everyone is present except for Randy Clark, Councilman Clark, but I, he will be here in a moment, I do believe. I'm going to start with the invocation. Mr. Dawson will give the invocation. <laughs> uh, let us pray. Father, we thank you for the blessings you bestowed upon us. And during this season of all the inclement rain, Father, we pray for your protection upon the people of Ascension Parish and the surrounding areas. We know that there are a lot of hearts that are concerned coming out of a catastrophic flood. We share their concern about all their homes, but we know that, oh God, you give the peace that passes all understanding. We ask that you continue to protect us, even the reports that we have. There are some areas, oh God, that are concerned about flash flooding. We pray for your hand of protection to be around them. Give us the wisdom to do the people's business well, and give us all the strength to help our neighbors in any way that we can during this time and season. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, if anybody would like to comment, please fill out a form. You have three minutes to speak. Uh, moving on to the uh, chairman's report. I don't have really too much to add to this. Um, we're going to go forward to number five. Acceptance of the minutes of the May 8, 2017 meeting. So Motion moved. to approve. Second. Okay, any discussion? Uh, I do have a statement because we had some things that were in the last meeting. Uh, we had asked uh, the administration, uh, Mr. Fournier, to come back with information on accepting roads into the parish system. We didn't receive a response to that. Well, we, we also asked, um, we had the traffic studies that we asked the administration to come back with a response for that. We haven't received anything for that. Is, are, are we of the opinion right now that the administration is going to be hands off and we'll handle this here out, here on out? No, so the, 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 the meeting that we had concerning the actual bringing in the, the um, I'm thinking about the conversation that we had with Mr. Fournier. Is that what that breakfast meeting that we kind of talked about some of those situations? Am I correct? Yes, yes, and following that meeting, uh, we, we had a transportation committee meeting, and he said in one month he'd come back with proposals okay. or options. I know he's working on it. I'll, I'll check into it. I'm sure that he's working on it. I'll find out the details on that and get back with you. Okay. From Mr. Fournier. Yeah, yeah. On that, you're looking at for uh, taking inroads on a uh, timeline, on, on maybe, maybe a longer mm -hmm. timeline. Correct. Or, uh, let yeah. the subdivision maybe get developed before we actually take them in. Is that what you mm -hmm. speak That's of? Correct. Okay. I actually, the, the timeline, the warranty situation. That's something we've been asking for for years. I've been, yeah. I've been yeah. asking for yes. for years since I've been on this council is to look at strengthening that, you know. Sure. Your roads get torn up within a, by the time the subdivision is actually completed. So. There were certain options. And I know that he was researching, you know, what they did in several parishes. I think that that was a request that we look at several parishes and to see you know, what was done in those. And I know he was compiling that information. Sometimes you get responses back from those areas. Sometimes but you don't. If we don't, it's something we want to move on anyway. So yeah. we want to go ahead and take it, even if the other parishes don't do it. We want to move forward and uh, don't leave it lingering. Because no, I'd right. like to move forward with this. Uh, what I plan to do is I'm going to put it on the next agenda sure. for the July, I don't know what the date of it is, meeting for transportation. Uh, we're going to plan to move forward on that one way or another. I know. Councilman Cagnolotti and Councilman Lambert have been pushing on that. Maybe y'all can get together and come up with some plans and ideas on that. I know we've discussed several things. Uh, the other yeah, part uh, of it was the uh, – oh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I know, yeah, we did discuss several things from the standpoint of extending the time when it uh, when a road is accepted in, from looking at a percent completion of the number of houses that's built, whether that is accepted or even the road remaining private and those kind of things. We talked about several options. Um, you know, through the committee before, and as uh, you know, Councilman Lambert said, we have discussed it for several years. So, what I can do is that I'm not sure um, why Mr. Fournier is not, but I'll check into it. But I'm sure he was trying to compile the information from the other parishes as we asked to see how they handle the issue, because I think that was the outcome of the conversation that we had in our morning meeting to discuss that process. So, I'll get back with him and and um, and um, 
let you know. And I, in, I would provide the information if we have it before the next meeting so that everyone have it to look at so they will be ready to have maybe some decision be made at the next transportation meeting. Yeah, that's the goal is for next sure. decision, uh, for, I'm sorry, next transportation committee meeting that we have something that we can possibly move forward to the full council on that issue. Councilman Cagalotti? Yeah, and I, I've researched this pretty extensively, calling other parishes ahead of time, and that's what I shared with uh, the administration and Mr. Dawson and uh, Mr. Fournier. And, and parishes and counties, I didn't just go to Louisiana, I went outside Louisiana to Alabama, Mississippi, Texas. And uh, the, the way they did it ranged from uh, a certain percentage of lots had to be sold, but you know that might be easy to get around when builders go in and buy you know 80% mm -hmm. of the lots and, and then build whatever. Uh, all the way up to uh, they have to have 80% of them sold and, and built and occupied. And then in, right. in one county in Texas, if it's a private subdivision, they never become a public road. They own that street in front of their house as part of their, <laughs> and they have to maintain it. So it's, it's, there's well, a lot of options, option and we need to just, just see what, what's a good fit for us. We don't want to go one way or the other, but I think if, uh, like, like Todd said, and I, I said this a long time ago, the warranty situation is such that we approve the road, and then here come the concrete trucks and the building materials trucks, and we talked to Ricky about it, and, it, and it's, just, it's the same old thing. We're just trying to protect our taxpayers' dollars. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, the, the next part of the uh, last last month's agenda that I have a concern about is with the traffic studies. Um, I had given uh, Mr. Fournier a copy of a proposed study, a proposed uh, revised ordinance for that, dealing more with corridors and not intersections. I thought he was coming. He said he was coming back for this meeting. We haven't heard anything from him on that one also. I wasn't aware of that. I will um, see why he was not here. Okay, we're going to put okay. that. We don't want to waste any more time on that. We're going to put that on the next agenda also. Um, at the very least, we can start moving forward with that. But um, no objection to the acceptance of the last minutes. Good. And where are we now? Uh, number six, Department of Public Works report. Mike Enlow. Good evening. Um, try to get this uh, get through this before the ceiling comes down on me, Chairman. <laughs> Wanted to uh, give you you all an update on the um, the Paris projects to date. Uh, the Move Ascension um, initiative. We had an RFQ out for engineering services. It was advertised May 25th. The packages are due back uh, June 23rd after which time we'll have an engineering selection committee to, uh, to grade the packages, and I believe uh, at your request, Chairman, you'd like them to come to the Transportation Committee? That's correct. Okay. The um, next item, we're, we're in negotiations with HNTB for the program management task. Uh, they have been working on a lot of the stuff in the background um, to get the quick start projects ready for when we do get the uh, consultants on board, which I would imagine uh, would be two or three weeks after uh, they're recommended through this committee and, and onto the council. We're, we're gonna try to push uh, our contracting department to get those out quickly and, and we'll get them on board. So what's gonna happen then is uh, the work that HNTV is doing right now is gonna uh, help us to, to, to have an efficient transfer of that knowledge to the, the consultants to kind of hit the ground running. Um, we're aiming for negotiating with them uh, uh, and compressing a lot of their, their, their schedules um, that, that, that are typically seen in these types of projects. So um, we'll keep you all abreast of that as we, we get moving on that. Um, some of the things that, uh, uh, just for your knowledge, that we're doing is um, uh, there's a project priority tool that, that HNTV is developing. And so what that is is basically taking the projects, uh, the quick start projects, uh, and further the other parking lot projects that we've identified. Um, they're going to look at uh, the master transportation plan, and 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 as they've de we've defined the pro problem definition, uh, kind of mold that tool and and prioritize the projects for for our the best needs of the parish. Does that make sense? 
So instead of taking the parking lot list of projects and, and going through them, we're going to prioritize them based on the master transportation transportation plan problem definition. So it's going to be specific to our, the parish needs, which is move traffic. I have a question now. Councilman Lamb. And I sat in on that meeting with the HNTB, and, and, and I guess the question on the master plan, uh, we had a pause with it. You might want to explain to us, did we go any further with administration on that to move? We have took some, taken some money out of the plan to go to the short shape, you know, on the projects, on the road projects, some money out. So we are not able to complete the master plan. And I just, what did y'all feel on how crucial it is to complete the master plan before we can actually take off? Well, I, I think there's a there's a happy medium. Uh, we 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 didn't. Um, it, it was a it wasn't a decision we rushed to make. It was it was this is the most effective thing to do based upon the conversations we had with this committee, uh, moving projects, getting getting the orange barrels out, and 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 and, and moving along like that. Uh, but you have to do it in, a, in an appropriate manner, in a logical way, and that. Uh, so we took that into account. So it's correct. We we've we've pivoted. Paused the transportation master plan. It was on. It was on a schedule to be done in a, in, in a year, I believe, starting in December. So, uh, we're at a, 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 I, I think we're at a feasible point that uh, we can now take the information we've we've got. Ga they've gathered. HNTV's gathered and um, start putting together these projects and uh, to where it's it's really efficient to. Uh, and get them hammered out. And I guess my big question on that, <clears throat> yeah, we may know where the pro which projects we're going to put together, but HNTB was going to come on their next phase to tell us how we're going to finance or how we can get some funding for these projects. And that, that is the bottom line problem that we have. So if we don't get to that next phase of this master plan on how we're going to fund these projects, where do we go? W once we run out of our quick start money, which, you know, we know – where these projects are, just with roundabouts and turn lanes and a few roads that we're going to do, is going to you know eat that money up. So uh, we use all that money up. We still need to get our master plan where it's possibility they got ways of finding fu you know funding to to do some of these major roads that we need to accomplish. Right, right. It's going to be a, a, a collaborative effort between the CRPC um, and DOTD and and. Um, the parish officials and administration. Um, well, we need the master plan. That was, absolutely. That's kind of what we agreed on as a council, as a committee here. To We all voted on getting this master plan completed, but now we had a pause with it. And I, I just was, I don't know how the rest of the committee feels, but, you know, I think they grabbed like 200000 out of uh, the plan, the master plan, to start the quick start plan, which now we had a pause with our master plan. If I recall correctly, this this body agreed that we would pause the master plan uh, in order because enough work had been done to give us what we believed was the essential projects that we could begin quickly and, and make a difference in our communities for the folks who drive there every day. And so uh, I think if, if I recall correctly, we voted to do that. I'm still comfortable with that. I certainly want to see us pick up the master transportation plan at the appropriate time. But our focus had to shift to getting something done. I mean, we, we hear from our constituents every day. We have studied things to death. It is time to get something done. And so that was the reason why, uh, I think it might have been in our last meeting, that we voted to take a pause in the further development of the Master Transportation Plan which had already accomplished what we needed it to do in order to get us to the point where we could begin the quick start program and and let's barrel into that and and literally get some barrels in on, on the road and, and make a difference for our constituents if i and anyone can correct me if that's not well, the recollection I, i'm all for the quick start but i don't remember us taking money out of the master plan to do so i just don't remember it maybe i missed that meeting maybe i was on vacation i'm not sure but I, I'm all for the quick start to get projects moving. I, I, don't get me wrong. That's something we've been working on for a long time, and we know where them problems are. Yes, we need to move forward, you know, uh, with these projects if the funding is there. 
And uh, since we're going to bind this money, and if the bind goes through, we're going to have enough funding to get started. That's all great. But we still, again, if we don't finish the master plan, if we don't have a plan when we go to find federal funding, we are, we once we run out of this short, you know, quick start money, and we need the major projects that need to be done, that's really bottlenecking a lot of things. Uh, we go to federal governments with no plan, uh, the guys that's got the plan is who's going to get the funding. So we just need to get our ducks in a row. That's all I'm asking for. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Uh, Council Mayor, your points are, are well taken, and that's, and we definitely, you know, don't want to have a departure from you all master plan. The quick start component of this was always a part of the master planning process. It was always there. I mean, um, HNTB was going to look at the quick start projects. What can, what do we have? that already has some planning done. You know, those projects that were done by DOTD that were identified that probably had been slowed up because of some issue, okay? Mm -hmm. um, I think that initially when they came in, they found that um, the, uh, the information that they thought may have been more readily available because of change of administration, change of different things, losing of engineering and engineers or that kind of thing, there was a lot more information that wasn't currently on the table which required a little more action on their part to get it done. And also, the list that was presented by HNTB that showed that big spreadsheet of all the quick start projects and those that were on the parking lot, you know, indicated that, that these are the ones that we're going to have a quick start. These are the parking lots that are going to take a little more evaluation. And as Mike said, we'll have some input to how it pertains to overall master transportation plan. But the goal was to keep moving on. We just had a meeting with them as well. And the goal is, is to continue moving forward with the master transportation planning process. We don't want to stop that. And I agree with you, in order to have federal dollars federal to move forward, you got to have that as a part of it. But the reason why it took a little longer is because the quick start portion that they initially carved out required a little more effort to get it to the point that we can move forward with, get some projects on the table. Yeah. And, and one quick other thing, quick start is fine, but we still got to go through the process. And everybody knows up here what the process is, what right-of-ways and – is uh, how many roundabouts that we're looking at right now that we've been having on the books for maybe two terms, uh, maybe it's going on eight years, with a couple of them that we've been held up on right of ways. Uh, and, uh, so we, we want to get stuff started and get a quick start, but we still got uh, obstacles in our way that's going to slow us down. So we have that to look at. We'll possibly bring resolution back to this, this committee. Uh, to see how we can move it forward. And you're right. You know, yeah. right-of-way acquisition is always a big issue in the parish. Correct. I mean, we have interference here with lines. You know, that is always a big issue in the parish. But I just was uh, uh, talking with uh, Mr. Magri from the safety side of DOTD um, this week, in fact. And I'm getting calls back about those safety projects that we already have on the books that we were looking at that were previously approved that need just a little more pushing to get done. And uh, he assured me that uh, that he would do what he can, and he's been doing that. So, um, you know, we're going to continue to move that process forward yeah. and keep you informed. And when there's a bottleneck, you know, there's some issues that need to come to this committee that we can take it before council. We'll bring it. Make sure you understand. Yeah, another one's turn lane at Go Place in uh, 431. Exactly. It's been on the books for many years, exactly. and, and, and and we have the funding for it. Right. And and we're trying to move forward as soon as we get everything accomplished. You know, so things we want to do things quick, but. I'm afraid in government, <laughs> it didn't let you. Um, you know, that brings up some really good points. Any more? I'm See, good. I'm good. I think I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay. Um, <laughs> and these may be questions for HNTB to answer. Or, do you have another question? Yep. Uh, so HNTB, is, uh, they're here to answer any questions we have, and that was part of the report, the, the move ascension. So if you can ask them, we can ask them to come up and answer any questions you have. Yeah, so. if you all like to I say, approach the microphone. Thank you, General. Good evening. Uh, my, my question is um, basically, are we at a point um, where the master plan and quick start are mutually exclusive, or if we restart the master plan, will that affect quick start in any adverse way? Uh, what, what we had was a situation where the, in order to be able to do more on, on the quick start, the move ascension piece, the, the quick start component to the master plan, which let's be clear, let's just call it task order number one which the vast majority of the budget for task order number one was for the master planning part. There was a component of quick start, but there wasn't near enough budget in there to do that. 
we, we came forward with a, an amendment to that that would quantify that, and the decision was because we hadn't come close to, to spending the total 750 was let's not do that. Let's use some of the 750 now on the quick start because that's the priority. We'll come back with a supplement when you want us to restart on the master plan, and that's at your discretion when that when that can be done. Okay. But but that's what we're doing, so we don't delay. We're using the resources that are already there to, to give you the effort that you need to get the quick start part done. And so, just as as Mike was saying and and, and Ken was saying, we're doing all those pieces now to focus on the projects that we presented to you last month. We're doing getting the engineers on board. We're negotiating with a full service right away consultant. Uh, we've got our, our partner team, Myers, is in the field doing individual drill down and the individual projects as to what's necessary. So we're doing all that pre-construction work so that we can be, be ready as, as fast as we can get these projects teed up. So this so actually came as a recommendation from HNTB to move this, forward. This came as, the, you, you voted on a motion yeah. to do that yeah. at this meeting And y'all agree with that month. recommendation? Yes, we did. Okay. No, I was. I think I was re recalling that Todd was out of town. Oh, okay. That's I, I wasn't sure about that. Um, from the administration side, are we ready to move forward with the master plan and to to fund that portion of it? I, I think that we we definitely um, um, should move forward with it. I mean, we've talked with. We just had a recent meeting with HNTB, who uh, laid out the process of moving forward with what we considered uh, you know a lot of the first phases of it. So. I think that we should. However, I do not want to take away the possibility of these quick start projects falling aloof. I mean, they are, there's money, I mean, money available, there's safety dollars available. We want to make sure that we capture that. So I think that the process is definitely in play. Um, the quick start that was laid out, you know, as uh, this, this committee looked at. Secondly, um, those parking lot items, you know, that we looked at, you know, moving forward with that and how that to the, uh, applies to the master plan. And I think that we do have that process that we're going to go forward. The goal was never to stop the master plan. It's just that we knew that a certain amount of funding had to go to this. And then when that was a requirement for additional funding, we would come back to this body and begin to request that as we move forward. So uh, we're going to continue to to move the process uh, uh, forward as in those meetings that we recently had uh, to continue the master planning process. We're not going to stop it. Yeah, because I'd like to see, um, hopefully, we get a request to, to fund the the restart of the master plan sooner rather than later. I mean, it, mm -hmm. it's my understanding from it. I think we, uh, Todd and I were in the meeting, the steering committee meeting, that that will be our opportunity to, I guess, get, make the approach for state and federal safety dollars and other dollars by doing that master plan. That, that's true. Uh, okay. Just as Ken said, that there are dollars there and that's, you know, the idea of the developing a funding uh, strategy that can leverage all the available funds. The other thing that we talked about at the steering committee meeting and the meeting with the administration was it's also an opportunity here at the pause a little bit to reshape the scope and make sure everything's in it that we think is, you know, so we know enough about the needs now about developing the next two phases, solutions and the report. Do we have everything in there that we want it to say? It's got all the components to it. So we see it as a very good opportunity perhaps to, you know, tweak that scope a little bit before we initiate the next, the next yeah. phase. Okay, very good. It's, it's, it's halftime. It's not the end of the game. We're kind of <laughs> halftime, and we're looking at our plays again to come back for a win, okay? <laughs> very good. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Okay, Mike, moving on. Uh, St. Landry, Edenborn Connector. Okay, well, let me go back to the, the, the next. Uh, I want oh, to sure, finish up uh, with the, the program management negotiations. We're hoping to have a recommendation for you guys at the next meeting uh, to move forward with that. Um, St. Landry, Edenborn, uh, we've actually been, been uh, quite busy with this project, uh, although it's rained quite a bit. Uh, Tacey especially has done a, a great job. We've, um, uh, a lot of pipes been installed. Uh, the equal, um, I'm sorry, the, uh, there's about four runs of 36-inch um, arch pipe and, and, uh, and, like I said, four sections that's been installed quite a bit. There's a lot of, uh, that area is, is fairly flat. And when, when we were clearing it, we noticed that uh, there was a lot of water that sheet flowed onto the project. So um, the contractor had noticed the, at the beginning of the project that uh, where we were gonna tie in with the city of Gonzales Road, um, 
a lot of water was was ponding up in that area. So he called it to our attention, and we went and take a, took a look at it. Talking with the city of Gonzales, um, they they said they they understood that 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 portion of the road was low. There were, there may have been some drainage issues right there. Um, so we took a took a look at maybe uh, what are the things we can do uh, to correct that. And one of the solutions that Casey came up with was tie in further into the Edenborn portion of the uh, road, Edenborn side, the city of Gonzales side, at a higher point, um, bringing the ditches alongside further into that development as well. And we, we feel that'll bring, take enough water off of that point to where basically our new road will not be uh, sitting in ponding water during certain rain events. So uh, we've got some uh, preliminary figures together uh, for it will be a, a, a change order, uh, but the city of Gonzales is going to partake in uh, half of that cost. So um, once we get those those figures uh, prepared and everything in place, we'll come back to this body uh, and, and 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 get approval to move forward with that. Uh, at this point, it's not going to slow up our contractor. He's got other things he's trying to do. I uh, just wanted to make this body aware uh, of that um, of that change and. Um, it, it's going to be looked. It's an owner requested change. We feel it's a, it's better for the road. It's a, a better design, and it's going to help out. So, I uh, just wanted everyone to be aware of that. Okay. Any questions on St. Landry and Board? No. Twenty seventeen road maintenance program. Okay, we've been uh, uh, in negotiations with our contractor and uh, getting to an agreement on the uh, with the, the the first six roads that were approved by this body. Uh, I think we're there. I think the, uh, we're going to uh, give them a notice to proceed uh, in the next week, um, and we should be able to take care of, of all six of those roads um, with with this contract. So um, it's looking good. The second contract, uh, we're going to try to get that out, I think, um, in the next month uh, to get the additional six roads and, uh, and further down the list that we have prepared uh, to, to overlay in addition to those. So... So that's kind of a big deal. I mean, before we were only doing six roads, and now we're going to expand it, try and do six more. Is that correct? Correct, and and, and more than the, than a, the additional six. I mean, we've got a, we've got three to four hundred parish-owned roads in in the you know in the parish. So we're gonna we're gonna just put as many as we can on there to to try to tackle. But um, you know, it, it takes a lot of money, so yeah. it's a good bit of effort as well. That's some good progress. Thank you. Any questions on that? No. Uh, Quickly, the second contract, Mike. It's it's. Uh, you say you'll advertise in the next six months. What's what's the process as far as uh, uh, awarding? Y'all have the y'all have those six roads picked out. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. uh, two or three months ago, we came to you guys with a list. It was twelve roads. Um, yeah. So those those six roads have been identified. And just to to, to correct it, and within the next month, we're looking at advertising that. Not, not six, you know, well within the six months, but. Um, so next, within next month, we're going to advertise it. Next month, and then you'll award it within a month after that. So yes, sir. Okay. Uh, if, if everything you know, if everything goes as planned in, during the bid process. Uh, okay, thank so. you. That's it. Okay, thank you. Uh, next is LA seventy, the mill overlay and safety improvements. Uh, yeah, road construction is complete. Uh, striping and signs need to be placed, and uh, some embankment work. Um, LA forty four turn lane at Black Bayou is complete. And uh, I think the project that Councilman Lambert was uh, discussing uh, a minute ago, LA 431 and Gold Place intersection improvements. Uh, final plans have been reviewed by our department and submitted to DOTD. Uh, signed in February, uh, the project advertised uh, May 24th, and the, uh, the letting will be on June 21st. So Good. I know it's been a long time coming, but... Um, these projects take some time. Grass cutting activities, there's really no updates. As you know, it's been raining quite a bit. Um, so there's the, the schedule that I brought to you guys last month is they're still working towards that. So, um, and that's, that's, that's it for um, the actual DPW report. Um, Casey, do you have anything to add? Okay. Uh, do you have any information on Highway 42? Will we stand on that? off the top of your head right to my knowledge the the, the uh, there was some questions at the end of the uh, the, the the letting period uh, that DOTD couldn't get answered in time so they pushed it to uh, for another month I, I want to say June 13th 14th 
is is the the new letting date. So, um, you know, I hate to say it, but we're crossing our fingers that you know, nothing else gets you know, delays it. But um, I'm fairly positive it'll it'll work out. Ken. Yeah, it was some delay on quantities. I think they had a calculation on quantities during the the. Um, uh, that was a question from a contractor on quantities. So when that question came in, they didn't have enough time to distribute that information to everyone, so they delayed it. Uh, uh, you know, because of that particular question, they have to make sure they get it back out to everyone. But I do want to say we had nothing to do with the sewer line going in, so the parish was not the cause of any delay. Yeah, you know, I was just about to say that Ascension Parish has done everything that we can do to get this project moving forward. Absolutely. It's all on the state. Good job. Mr. Chairman. I, I just one final comment on part of Mike's report. Uh, that turn lane at Black Bayou and LA 44. I know a lot of people that are glad that that's done. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> How long did that take? Huh, Tom? It took a while. I mean, it took almost as long as to the Highland Road from Airline to Interstate 10. It was it was ridiculous. But they're glad it's done. Traffic's yes, flowing. Yep. Thank you, Mike. Any yes, other sir. questions? Okay, moving on to item number seven. This is approval of LA 22 agreement between uh, DOTD. Parish of Ascension, Capital Region Planning Commission, State Project uh, Number H011451 for the rehabilitation of LA-22 from its junction with I-10 to its junction with 429. Mike Enlow. This was um, actually, this amendment was approved last meeting for GSA, but um, the resolution that gave uh, at, at the time, is Tommy Martinez. They, they gave him permission to sign off on any amendments or any supplemental agreements. Um, all this is is a new resolution given, giving President Matassa the authority to sign off I'll on this amendment Second. to add, add the money and time to their contract. Okay, we have a motion by Councilman Lambert, a second by Councilman Gagnolotti. Do we have any discussion? None. Do we have any objection? None, so moved. Okay, uh, agenda item number eight. Roads for discussion of acceptance into the parish maintenance system as follows. Uh, Ricky Diarmo. I'm back before you again tonight to uh, accept some more roads in the parish maintenance system. This Oak Creek Crossing subdivision. Uh, you want to do them one at a time like normal? Mr. Chair? Yes. Second. We have a motion and order. Any discussion? <coughs> any we have one discussion. Uh, Rick, they all met uh, inspection yes. before we go yeah, in. So no cracks. Okay. No, not on this one. Okay. Oakland Crossing Boulevard is accepted. Great. Motion to approve Cedar Grove Way. Second. We have a motion by Councilwoman Cazzo. Any discussion? No. Oh, no. Any discuss? Any uh, objection? None. So moved. Motion. Motion to accept Emory Lane. Second. We have a motion by Councilman Cagnolotti. Any discussion? Any objection? None, so move. Motion to accept Silver Creek Court. Second. And we have a motion by Councilman Cagnolotti. Any discussion? Any objection? None, so moved. Motion adjourned, Mr. Chairman. Second. We have motion and acceptance. So moved. 